They're unexpected. You'll find them next to a bus stop. You'll find them next to Jenny's ice cream. Um, you'll find them next to parking lots. And it's really meant to um, help you encounter art in a way that you might not normally encounter it. So this is a project that began uh, actually back in 2012. Uh, it was a series, a temporary series of public art pieces that our galleries wanted to do here in the district. It was so successful. Based on how popular it was, we chose to do it again this year with a series called Viewpoints. And it's intended to showcase the work of young professional artists and artists who inspire young professionals here in Columbus. There are 11 different works in 11 different locations. Uh, they're scattered throughout the whole of the short north. The pieces themselves really, I think, reflect the point of view of how young professionals think and what are the issues that are important to them or inspiring to them. I've had a gallery in the short north for over 27 years now. This mural project is celebrating young artists. All the artists are under 40. Lainey may be one of the youngest artists that I show in the gallery. I think I'm kind of a thrillist. Um, I'd like to take uh, things from nature and animals and put them into human situations. So this piece is titled The Monkey Queen. I just, with, with art history and with um, like history of royalty, I really got into that and I love the costumes and everything and how frivolous and lacy and everything is. It's kind of like, um, it reminds me of like spider webs and things from nature like that. So I, monkeys have showed up a lot in my work and I wanted to take the monkey and kind of um, elevate her to a queen status. Uh, the process is a heat adhesive vinyl. Uh, so it's a high resolution image of an artwork that is then uh, applied to a piece of vinyl and then heat adhered to the side of a building. Well, I was driving up to see Sherry actually and uh, saw it and I was just like, wow, it's so amazing to see it that large because it's so small and personal when it's in my studio and um, to see it that big was just really cool. This is the second round with the mural project. Um, so I knew that it could get detail really well and I thought use the media to its fullest extent like it'd be really difficult to paint the monkey queen in that kind of scale. It would take forever with all the detail but I was shocked at how it turned out. I mean you see that detail and it's really clear and it just couldn't be better and I think I really think it's a favorite <laughs> of the murals. I'm a little biased. <laughs> The reason I was so passionate about it in the beginning when it started, it was my, I, we worked on it together, Ralph Rosenfeld and I, to get this done, was to show that this is the art district in Columbus. From a broad public art perspective, um, it's a substantial goal of the Short North Alliance and, and many here in the Short North to really increase our public art assets throughout the neighborhood. The Viewpoint series, or rather we call them the Short North Murals, that series um, is one of many that uh, may be temporary, may be more permanent, that you could see coming out of the district uh, over the next year or a couple of years. These ones will be up for a year. We know now, after getting through the first series, that they, um, they're they very durable, surprisingly, and they, um, they will last for over a year. So these ones will come down the first part of March 2015. And hopefully, we will be doing another series right, uh, right after that. It just makes you feel good. It just immediately makes you feel good. That's what art, I think, does. It brings you pleasure. <laughs>